Asian beef stew is another popular dish in Asia. It is most popular served with rice noodle, but you can have it with bread, or you can also have it with rice. In today's video, I will show you how easy it is to make the Cambodian style beef noodle stew for you and your family at home. Okay, let's get started. If you are new here, don't forget to press the subscribe button for more delicious homemade recipes. You will need some ingredients that you can easily find from any Asian grocery store. I used boneless beef shank and beef belly. I also put some beef ball as well. In this recipe, I'm not going to use salt. I'm only going to use chicken powder mix. I also use pre-made Asian beef stew paste. And the vegetable that we're going to use is carrots. I also use red curry to give the stew really good color and slightly spicy. You will need some Asian spices like galanga, some star anise, some cinnamon sticks, some garlic, and some lemongrass. To make a really delicious Asian beef stew, you must have all these spices. You will also need some bean sprouts, some Asian mint, some cilantro, and some green onions. And just like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, you can have it with some bread or you can have it with some rice noodle or even with rice. This is about 4 pounds of beef with fat and tendons. This one is the beef belly. I also use boneless beef shank. You can use any kind of beef or even beef stew but it is recommended to use the beef that has some fat and tendon attached to the meat. If the beef doesn't have any fat or tendons attached to it, the beef when it's finished cooking, it will become dried. And with the beef, you're going to cut it with thick slices, not too thin, not too small. The beef that I'm cutting, it may look big in this video, but when we are cooking it, it will shrink. It is about one inch to one inch and a quarter in length. The beef, you want to cut it chunky like this. You don't want it too small, but you want it thick enough so then when it cooks, it's not going to break apart. This is garlic. We're going to use one bulb of garlic, fine chop the garlics. I use five medium-sized carrots. You're going to clean and peel the skin off. And after, you're going to cut them, and for the top part, after you cut them, you can cut it in half, and for the small pieces, you can just cut them and just leave it that way. It is about one inch in length. And that is it, all the ingredients, and next, we're going to cook the beef. Turn on the heat, and you're going to pour about three to four tablespoons of cooking oil. I already poured it, I didn't show you. You want to make sure that the oil is hot before you put in the garlic. You can test it out if the oil is hot by put some garlic in. And if it bubble, that means it's hot. Now you can put all the garlic in. You're going to fry the garlic until it gets lightly brown. You don't want the garlic to be super brown. You just want it lightly brown before you add in the red curries. This red curry is really spicy, but if with the amount of soup that we're going to use, you can use three quarter can of the red curry. On high heat, you're going to saute the curry paste and the garlic for about one to two minutes. Since the heat is really hot, you also have to pay attention. So if it is going to be getting really dried, you're going to put in the meat right away. Now you can put all the beef that we already cut up. On high heat, you're going to saute the beef and the curry paste and the garlic together. 
Right now, there is not much water that is in the bottom. So you need to constant stir it. So that way the beef doesn't get burned in the bottom with the uh, curry paste. You're going to saute it for about a few minutes before you add in some water. The reason you want to add some water now, just a little bit, so that way the beef and the curry paste especially, so it doesn't get burned in the bottom of the pot. We are cooking it on high heat, so just a little bit of water will help the process and the beef and the curry not to get burned in the bottom of the pot. In total, I use six tablespoons of sugar, so you're going to put half of it first. And with the chicken powder, I use three tablespoons of chicken powder, you're going to put half of it as well. In this recipe, I'm not using any salt because in the curry paste, there is salt and also there is salt in the beef stew paste as well. You're going to saute the meat and all the ingredients together until there is not much water in the bottom. You're going to saute it on high heat for about five minutes. And during this process, you need to constant stir so that way the beef and the curry paste will combine and cook together nicely. In total, you will need seven liters of water. And with the water, I boil 7 liters of water. I measure and pour into a separate pot just beside me. And you will use some of that water along the way. I will show you in a bit. After 5 minutes, there is not much water and the beef is a bit more cooked now. So you're going to add one jar of beef stew paste. In total, I use two jars. The kind of beef stew paste that I'm using is the Balkal kind in the pink package and you can find them at any Asian grocery store. It is impossible to take the paste out of the jar and so in the later on clip, I can show you a tip on how you take everything out of the jar. Still on high heat, you're going to cook it for about 5 more minutes so this way the flavor of all the ingredients that we put together, it will go into the meat. After 5 minutes, we're going to add some water, about 1 liter from the pot that we already measure and put beside us. It doesn't have to be the exact 1 liter, it can be 1 liter and a half or even 2. You just want some liquid into the beef right now. You're going to stir and mix everything together and after you're going to cover it and cook it on high heat until we finish with the spices. In between all the time that we are waiting, we are going to grill the spices. These are three stalks of lemongrass. I already cleaned them and cut the tail and the head off. So now you can cut them in half. So I use five star anise, three cinnamon sticks, and four to five big slices of galanga. I grill them in my Ninja air fryer, but you can do it in the oven as well, but it will take longer in the bigger oven. If you have the mini oven, you can grill it about five to six minutes. Or you can pan grill it in the stove for five minutes until it get brown. The minute the spices is done grilling, you're going to open up the uh, stew pot and pour them all in when they are hot. To get a really good fragment out of those spices, after it finished grilling, right away you're going to put them all in into the boiling broth. You're going to stir and push all those spices to the bottom of the broth and after you're going to cover them with the lid. And again, you're going to cover it and cook it on high heat for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, we're going to add the rest of the water that we have beside us that we already measure. Whatever left over of the seven liters, you're going to pour them all in. After you pour them all in, you're going to add the rest of all the ingredients. 
And here is how you can take all the paste out of the jar. Right now the broth is not as hot, so you can put some broth into the jar and you're going to close it, shake it up and then you can pour them all out. And that is how you can take everything out of the jar. Now you can put the second jar of the stew paste. And also you can pour the rest of the sugar in. And the same thing with the chicken powder, you're going to pour the rest of it in. Stir and mix well, and after you're going to bring it to boil. Just a small note, so the whole time that we are cooking this, we haven't even lowered the heat to medium or anything. It is on high heat the whole time. After you bring the liquid to boil, you're going to cover it with the lid, just slightly open a little bit before you lower the heat. Either you're going to lower the heat or set the timer first, but you can set the timer for one hour and you're going to lower the heat to medium heat. And while we are waiting, we are going to get all the other ingredients ready. This mint is the Asian mint. I don't know the name for it or I never really pay attention. But if you know the right name for it, can you leave it in the comment below? You're going to thinly slice them. After you slice them, you're going to put them back into the plate. And the next topping is the green onion. You're going to thinly slice them as well. Thinly slice them and then after you're going to put them back into the plate with the other mint. Here is another good topping, is cilantro. You're going to thinly slice them as well. And same thing, you're going to put them back into the same plate. I usually buy really big package of pho noodle or rice noodle. I like to buy it bulk because it is cheaper and then that also means I don't have to go to the store so much. Just as long as you have a big freezer to store it, but they also come in a small package as well. You can use any rice noodle, it doesn't have to be this kind. And with this fresh rice noodle, I like to rinse it before I use it. So I rinse it with uh, hot water from the tap and after I'm going to drain the water out and put them into the basket. You also need some bean sprouts too, but I already clean and I forgot to film it. But you know, you know the bean sprout, you could wash and clean and drain the same way. After cooking the beef stew for one hour, now the beef stew is almost ready. Right now the beef is more tender, it's not as hard. Looking at the stew right now, it looks so good. I'm so hungry again. Now you can put in all the carrots. Right now the broth is really hot, so you're going to put the carrot in, like don't drop it so far because it will splash and burn you. If you buy the Asian beef ball from the store, you can put them in with the carrots right now, but I homemade them, so I'm going to put them later on. After you put all the carrots in, you can cover it with the lid and cook it on medium heat for 15 minutes. After cooking it on medium heat for 15 minutes, now you can add in all the beef balls. And the same thing, you have to be careful. It is really hot, so you're going to scoop it a little bit at a time and then put them into the broth. The broth is going to taste really good after you finish this, but then you wait till the next day, it's going to taste even better. The amount that I make, it is a lot. It can feed more than 10 people. I have so many people to feed, that is why I make this much. But I will leave the recipe for half of the portion in the description box. For me, I think it is easier to make this beef stew than to make the pho. Because the pho, you have to cook it overnight for it to taste good. But for this beef stew, after 2 hours, it tastes really good. And look at all the meat, 
and all the meatball, it looks so delicious. After you put the beef ball in last for 15 minutes, now the beef stew is ready. If you're going to have it with some bread, you can toast it. You can toast it if you have the ninja air fryer for 5 minutes. And now we are ready to make a big bowl of beef stew. We got our rice noodle, our bean sprouts, our mint, cilantro and green onion and our hot water. And of course our delicious beef stew. Boil water in a separate pot and now we're going to cook the rice noodle. You can put a handful of rice noodle and you're going to cook it for 30 seconds. The fresh rice noodle, it doesn't take that long to cook, so about 30 seconds to 40 seconds, that is good enough. And after 30 seconds, you can drain the water out, and after, you can put them into the bowl. If you want to cook your bean sprouts, you can lightly cook your bean sprouts in the hot water, or you can always put the fresh one later. And for the topping, you can put the mint that we cut up, the cilantro and the green onions. You can put some fried garlic in, and I have a video on how to make the fried garlic, you can check it out. And now you can put in this delicious beef stew, it looks so good. Put as much meat and as much soup and carrots as you like. And that is all to it on how to make a really delicious Cambodian style beef noodle stew. I hope after you watch this video, you can make a really delicious Asian beef stew for you and your family at home. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share with your family and friends. And if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more delicious homemade recipes. And also, don't forget to press the notification bell so you get notified for all my future videos. Okay, thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye for now.